Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming um, to the to the forum. Uh, we had the hustings. The hustings. We got a lot of good feedback about the hustings event. A lot of views on YouTube. A lot of people came came in person, um, but that did put us a little bit behind. So we didn't get our posters up this time. And uh, I did ask the Echo to put put details of the forum in twice, but they, I don't think they did. Uh, had a look today. Um, but we still got quite a few full room, which is good. Uh, and uh, yeah, we had a lot of thanks from people as well, quite a few messages from people about the hustings, so, so uh, pleased we did that. Um, tonight, uh, we've got a couple of uh, updates about, about where we're at. Uh, we, we had a uh, communications framework meeting. Actually, I'd just like to, I did have a, uh, something came through on, on Facebook, was about um, Boscombe for having secret meetings. Uh, we, we don't do secret meetings and, we, and the Boscombe Forum doesn't make decisions on, on behalf of Boscombe. We, we, what, what, what our, our job is to facilitate meetings where you, you the residents of Boscombe, have a chance to, to speak to, to people in, uh, in positions of, of uh, power and influence, like the uh, councillors and the police. Um, so uh, what we what we have had in meetings wise is we had a meeting which was was asked for in the forum to, to meet with regard to uh, uh, it was issues raised around health and people coming in with uh, from prison and stuff with with serious problems which were when we and we were asked to organise a meeting with the MP which we did uh, we fully minuted that that meeting um, and uh, got in a bit of trouble for that it was a Ch Chatham House rules was. Sort of sprung on us at the last minute, and um, so, and it's probably we we uh, we did that, and we also uh, which came out of the forum as well is is uh, um, better communication with the council, so we can get better information. So we have a monthly communications meeting where we don't make decisions; we just get information about what's happening, and we also send the uh, form, uh, the, the regeneration partnership meetings. Where we're really there as observers; we don't vote on anything. Is so we can get accurate information and it helps us to structure our meetings and to set agendas. Uh, we're, we're run by a committee, everyone is welcome to join the committee. In fact, I'd encourage people to, to come and join the committee. The more people we have, the less, the less uh, we have to do ourselves and spread the load a bit. And also, we just get a better feeling of what the issues are in Boston. So, we do get people obviously raise issues here on the day, but you, you know, it's more informal. The, the committee meetings and you can come and, and just tell us what's going on in your areas and uh, things you'd like us to uh, put on the agenda. If you want to join the committee, the, uh, just send us an email through the website, boscomforum.org.uk and uh, we'll, we'll welcome you with open arms. <laughs> um, but anyway, with the communications, last communications framework meeting, um, David, I'll just give you a quick update. In fact, um, one of Laura might want to come up and, and say a few couple of words. Sorry, spring it on you, but we had a um, communication framework session, but it's largely around housing um, and uh, a brief talk about the new Dave Wells property on uh, Christchurch Road. Um, and I think the general emphasis was there that the, the council is working really hard um, to, um, <coughs> to negotiate um, a restriction or... or I think if you looked at the housing stock, you identified an area of, um, that's most in need, which is uh, 55 plus uh, single, single bed dwellings. Um, and uh, the council and the housing department is working with Dave Wells in securing that those um, tenancies, you know, the private tenancies, but that they, they fit that, uh, that fit that remit and they're local people. Um, so that discussion, I think, was happening this week with, with um, DWP. And um, I don't know what the update of that is, but that'll be on the website when we have more information about it. Um, there's also, oh, I need to put some more notes. Um, yeah, in fact, there's some information in the Boston Regeneration Housing Update, which will, all these documents will be online on the website. Um, we're still waiting for digital copies of them to put up. Um, and an Operation Galaxy Update, again, um, that will all be published on the uh, website in due course. Thank you, David. Um, the, um, yeah, the, the, uh, the communication framework meeting is, is to, uh, to, to allow us to get better access to information, more accurate information, because 
when we first started the forum really we were working off the echo and the echo often gets things wrong <laughs> so uh, um, and you're welcome to come along to, to one of those meetings as well if you've got a particular interest so come along to the committees and find out um, what we're doing um, obviously we've just had the elections you know a very busy hustings meeting and we've got uh, got our elected councillors um, we've got two new ones who can't be here tonight they've offered their apologies but they're on a training session uh, councillor training to learn how to be a councillor <laughs> so they can't be here but they have, have uh, sent their apologies um, that was uh, councillor Andy Jones who is a member of the Pokestown Forum and if you live at uh, that end of Boscombe and you want to get involved particularly in, in their area you know that, that which is uh, um, it's a very strong group of people. There's not so many people there, but they are focused and achieving a lot of things. And uh, I go there myself, and they're behind a lot of stuff that we're doing, and, and they come here themselves. Um, we also have uh, Gina Pacifico Mackin, who uh, again is in, in training. And then Councillor Rochester, Jane Kelly, Philip Stanley Watts, and Christopher Wakefield. Um, so uh, they're here tonight. Uh, yeah, the Boscombe West ones are Christopher Rochester isn't here. Okay, um, we've been working on. Uh, we talked talk, talked about the um, neighbour plan, which uh, we've had a meeting with uh, the head of planning, and he's given us a couple of uh, officers to work with. So we've had a initial meetings just a couple of us just to kind of look at how, how it's going to look you know to try and structure the it's going to take about a year probably a bit longer the whole process because it's a, it's a set of things you have to do and um, we're going to hear a little bit more about that from um, from Paul who have introduced their first labour plan in Paul Key through the uh, Paul Key forum so we're going to in a minute get get the uh, get, a, get a little presentation from Martha Covell the planning specialist who helped helped them with that. Um, Paul Key's a very different area to here, so the, the the actual some of the things that, that they did there won't be applicable here. Um, but the actual process is something that's interesting. What I'll be doing is in June um, we have a, we have a list of people who want to get involved with the neighbourhood plan. We need as many people as possible in Boston to get involved. Um, we have a list at the back of the room for anyone who hasn't put their name down yet. And in June, I will be holding a meeting. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and um, and that'll be an initial meeting. It's looking like we'll probably set up uh, some sort of charity. I'll be speaking lo to localities to get some examples from around the country because there's been a lot of neighbourhood plans put in. Let's get some good case studies to model ours on. Um, in the, in the, we could go ahead just as the forum, but there are a couple of issues with it maybe because it's handling money I think that the, the uh, Paul Key Forum are going to do the same thing I think so uh, anyway I'll pass you over now to Martha Cabell who's going to uh, give us a short presentation I'm sure it'll be very interesting <laughs> 